Time having arrived, I hereby call the Monday, September 22nd, full city council to order. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilor Isaac. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to recognize today two um, exceptional citizens that are taking care of a small area in Ward 7 that um, the intersection of Battle Street and Oak Street, there's a little island, and it wasn't even noticeable until just this past year because uh, these two wonderful people are taking care of it, maintaining it, planting beautiful plants, and even watering them. Um, they've adopted this area, it looks beautiful, and um, I just would like to recognize them, and that's Mr. Chet Young and Ms. Carol Phillips. Thank, thank you, you thank you for what you thank do. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Council, it's just some house cleaning before we, uh, we get into the agenda tonight. Uh, please remember next Monday night, Council, is, is the fifth Monday, uh, but we will be meeting uh, next Monday night, not here. We're gonna be having a 6.30 p.m. joint meeting with the school committee, the mayor, ourselves, and the representatives from Southeastern Regional over at the East Middle School the former East Junior High, 6.30, please come over there, counselors. And uh, again, 6.30 sharp, it will be the starting time and it will be on TV. Agenda item number one, please. We have the appointment of Charles B. Hickey of 279 Menlo Street, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for a five-year term ending October 2019. That's referred to Finance Committee. The appointment of Marlene M.D. of 47 Herod Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Cable Advisory Board for a three-year term ending October 2017. That two counselors referred to Finance Committee. The appointment of Andrea R. Borton of 67 Bigney Avenue, Brockton, to the Brockton Parking Authority for five-year term ending October 2019. Also referred to Finance Committee. We have the petition of John and Sandra Drystadt for a garage license located at 1016 Belmont Street in City Clerk's Office, August 15, 2014. Hearing is signed for September 22, 2014. All the necessary paperwork is on file and the fire department has no objections. Time haven't arrived, I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward to the podium. State your name for the clerk. Good evening, Mr. President, Councilors. Kevin Riley, uh, attorney from Randolph, Massachusetts, here on behalf of the uh, applicants. Mr. Hank Tui, uh, operations manager, Nissan 24, also were present this evening for, uh, in, in support. Attorney Riley, thank you for being here tonight. Is there anyone else here in favor relative to this matter? If so, please come forward. Anyone else here? Third and final, anyone else here? That part of the hearing is hereby closed. Uh, Councilor. Uh, just questions, I just wanted, so is this still, this is the same building you're in right now? Is yes, it, it is, sir. Basically transferring, uh, that is so it, it, it's the Nissan 24 side, so it's on the, okay, thank you. I just want to make sure I knew which building it was. Any other councilors have the questions for uh, Council uh, Riley? Councilor Yaneri. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. President. And, and not really any questions. I, I did discuss the matter with the uh, gentleman when I arrived this <coughs> evening and did uh, realize that it was that particular location that Councilor Cruz had mentioned. And uh, as you all know, this is located in Ward 3, but um, I commend them for uh, the job they're doing in uh, taking that whole corner and, and trying to transform it into a, another new corner. So appreciate that, and, uh, and I wish you the, uh, the best of luck. So I'm all set with it, uh, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor Yaneri. Any other councilors? All the councillors, anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in the chamber in opposition? Third and final, anyone here in opposition? That part of the hearing is hereby closed. Councillors, the matter comes before us now. All in favor of granting a license, please raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. License is hereby granted. The petition of E and J Auto Sales for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 1016 Belmont Street. In clerk's office, August 15, 2014. Hearing is signed for September 22, 2014. All unnecessary paperwork is on file, and the fire department has no objections. Time haven't arrived. I hereby declare this hearing open. Anyone here in favor? Again, Kevin Riley, attorney for the applicant. Thank you, Attorney Riley. Councilors, any questions for Attorney Riley relative to this matter? 
Anyone else here in the chamber here in favor? Anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward. Third and final. That part of the hearing is closed. Councilors, any questions? No questions. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Third and final. Hearing is closed. Now matter is coming before us. All in favor of granting the license, please raise your hand. All opposed. License is hereby granted. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Good President. luck. Thank you. Thank you. Number six, please. We have the report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of September 15, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Lieutenant of the Brockton Police Department submitting a scrivener's error from Council Order Number 420, which was adopted on July 28, 2014 and signed by the Mayor on August 6, 2014. The correct amount of the grant should read $86,969.70 not $89,969.70. That communication is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting the acceptance of a Paramount Multi-Station Gym from Precision Fitness Equipment to the City of Brockton Fire Department. The retail value of this two-stack gym is $5,199. The gift of Paramount Multi-Station Gym will serve as a fitness equipment program to the fire department for keeping in shape physically and be centrally located at Station 1. There is no cost to the city. Accepted and placed on file, Councilors. Application from the Mayor recommending the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. That too, accepted and placed on file. We have an order of $1,750,000 and, <clears throat> and appropriated to pay costs of making various sewer system repairs and improvements throughout the city, including design and bidding costs, and including without limitation all costs thereof as defined in Section 1, Chapter 29C of the General Laws, that to meet this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Mayor, is authorized to borrow and issue bonds or notes. In Council, July 28, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the question is on an ordination by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irnieri. Yes. Councilor Monahan. Yes. Councilor Mar Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. Ten voting in the affirmative. Councilors, the order is hereby ordained. <laughs> we have the appointment of James L. Bragg, 59 Grant Avenue, Brockton, as a member of the Water Commission for a three-year term ending July 2017. In Council, July 28th. 2014, referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Councilor Razak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. No. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. No. Councilor Irnieri. Yes. Councilor Monahan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor, uh, Councilor Studensky. No. Councilor Sullivan. No. We have two, three, four, five. six in the affirmative and four in the negative. Appointment is hereby confirmed. <clears throat> the appointment of Cindy Kos Koska, I'm sorry here. Yeah. 12 Montello Street, Extension, Brockton, to the Cemetery's Board of Trustees for a five-year term ending August 2019. In Council, August 25th, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilor, questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irnieri. Yes. Councilor Monaghan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. <coughs> 10 voting, 10 present, 10 voting in the affirmative. Appointment is hereby confirmed, councillors. A 
Appointment of Daniel DePino, 181 Marine Street, Brockton, to the Cemetery Boards of Trustees, a five-year term, ending August 2019, and Council August 25th, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, the appointment questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Councilor Razak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. No. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irineri. Yes. Councilor Monahan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Studinsky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. Ten members being present, nine voting in the affirmative, <clears throat> one in the negative. Appointment is hereby confirmed, Councilors. The appointment of William G. King, 283 Tory Street, Brockton, to the Board of Park Commissioners for a five year term ending August 2019, in Council August 25th, 2014. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilors, questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. No. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irneri. Yes. Councilor Monahan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Studinsky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. And being present, nine voting in the affirmative, one in the negative. Appointment is here by confirmed, Councilors. The appointment of Barbara Kane, 56 Howland Street, Brockton, Brockton Cable Advisory Board, for a three-year term and in August 2017. <coughs> in Council, August 25th, 2014. Referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irineri. Yes. Councilor Monahan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Stutinsky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. Ten members present, ten voting in the affirmative. One minute here by confirmed, Councilors. Order that the City Council authorizes the Mayor to enter into an intermissible <coughs> agreement between the Town of Abington and the City of Brockton for transport and treatment of wastewater from Abington and transmission. This agreement is intended to supersede and replace the current agreement between the parties. In Council, June 23, 2014, referred to the Committee on Finance. That report is unfavorable. Council Dubois. Um, just recently, the city solicitor sent uh, the city council a potential revision and amendment, and it talks. Of, it has some legal concerns for me that I think we need answered, like what the city's legal power is to deny a development in a different municipality. So I would like to have this postponed to the next finance committee meeting, so we can invite the city solicitor in to answer those questions. Second. Is it a form of a motion? I'd like to. I move to to send this back to finance. Second. Motion was made, properly seconded on the motion, councilors. We also will have, if it does get sent back, legislative counsel for the city council, attorney Mark Gilday, who's not with us tonight. We would have him uh, look at it and review it as well. We'd get his input. Thank you. Motion made, properly seconded, to send agenda item 17 back to the next. Mr. The first or Mr. second FinCom in October? Mr. Mr. President. Wait a second, councilor. Councilor, are you talking about the first or second FinCom? Um, Whatever one he'll make. So why don't we do the first, and then if he can't make the first, we'll postpone it to the second. Thank you, Council. Council Mr. President, just on the motion, I just want to make sure we also have the appropriate people here from uh, the town of Abington as well, plus all information that was given uh, to us today through emails I would like to see hard copies of. I'm getting tired of reading from my telephone. So if we can make sure that happens for the meeting, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We do want to thank uh, our colleagues in the, in the neighboring community. Uh, the town manager was nice enough to send us uh, some information as well, counselors, so we can, uh, we can kind of vet all that out. Again, work with our attorney uh, who represents the city council and work with attorney Nazarella who represents the city and, uh, and their legal counsel as well. So motion was made, properly seconded, to uh, send this back to the first FinCom in the month of October. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. Motion's going to carry. It's going to be sent back to the first FinCom for the month of October. <clears throat> Resolved that Ollie Spears and Ann Beauregard come before a committee of this council to discuss plans to establish a committee of tourism for the city of Brockton in council August 25th, 2014. <clears throat> Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. No. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Irineri. Yes. 
Councilor Moynihan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Stewart. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. Okay. 11 members being present, 10 in the affirmative, one in the negative. Councilor, that resolve is adopted. Resolved that the city CFO confer with the assessor's department and get full accounting by year of any and all funds from reserves and abatements and assessment accounts that may be made available. End Council, May 12, 2014, refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Council, this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Councilor Razak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor Dinopoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Ianeri. Yes. Councilor Moynihan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Stewart. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. 11 members present, 11 members voting, and the affirmative. Was obviously by adopted, councils. Okay. Ordered that the Brockton City Council does hereby grant a perpetual right and easement to Mass Electric Company in Verizon, New England, Inc. for consideration of $1 to construct, reconstruct, repair, maintain, operate, and patrol for the transmission of high and low voltage electric current and for the transmission of intelligence and telephone uses, lines to consist of but not limited to one pole with wires, cables installed thereon, and all necessary foundations, anchors, braces, fitting equipment. Under and upon land owned by the city of Brockton, located in the southerly side of North Carey Street. And further, the council authorizes the mayor to execute the grant of easement and take action necessary to carry out the terms. That's referred to Finance Committee. Order that the mayor and our real estate custodian be authorized to place various parcels of city owned property on the list for sales at auctions and to execute any and all documents <coughs> necessary to effectuate the sale of these properties. That is referred to real estate committee councils. Order that in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the state election will be held on Tuesday, November 4, 2014, in the designated polling places. Council Stadinsky. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd make a motion at this time to move this on the suspension of the rules tonight's Second. meeting. It's very Second. important we institute this. Motion made, properly seconded to act on the suspension of rules. All in favor of acting on the suspension of rules? Mr. Clerk, the uh, question is going to be on adoption of the order by a roll call vote. Councilor Azak. Yes. Councilor Bond. Yes. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor DiNapoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Ianeri. Yes. Councilor Monaghan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. Yes. Councilor Stewart. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. 11 present, 11 voting in the affirmative. Order number 22 is hereby adopted. Order that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of a Paramount multi-station gym from Precision Fitness Equipment to the City of Brockton Fire Department. Retail value of this two-stack gym is $5,199. The gift of Paramount multi-station gym will serve as fitness equipment to the Fire Department, keeping in shape, physically fit, and centrally located at Station 1. There is no cost to the City. Council, this is where to refer to Finance Committee, and please uh, be aware Chief Francis called me today. He will be here at the next FinCom to talk about this and the next agenda item as well. Resolved that Fire Chief Francis, Chief Financial Officer John Condon, and Mayor Bill Carpenter be invited to appear before a committee of this council to purchase two new tower trucks for the Brockton Fire Department. Refer to Finance Committee. Council DiNapoli. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to uh, submit a, a late file, and uh, uh, we have to act on it tonight under the suspension of the rules. We had a special meeting Friday night from the real estate committee. And this pertains to a building at downtown, and it's, it's money that we're going to receive from the state and it has to be acted on this evening. Second. Motion made, properly seconded to act on the suspension of the rules. All in favor of acting on this tonight? All opposed, that motion carries. We're going to act on a, a late file and act on it under suspension of the rules tonight. We have the report of the real estate committee for its meeting of September 19th. 2014.
That's going to be accepted and placed on file. Order that the City Council here to hereby declare number 226 Main Street, map 110, route 19, plot 368, available for disposition and sale, and further that the Mayor be, and hereby is authorized, to execute any and all documents necessary <coughs> to dispose of said property by sale to the Commonwealth of Mass, Division of Capital Asset, uh, Assets Management and Maintenance, DCAMM, for the purchase price of $1. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Council, Mr. President. Oh, uh, can I? Oh, okay. Council. Do we have an opportunity to, to, to discuss this at all, or is it just uh... You choose to. Yeah, I would like to. Um, Mr. President, I think um, it, it's a little too early to discuss uh, this particular purchase of a, of a property that's city-owned in this city knowing the fact that this is one more property that's going to be taken out of the possible tax rolls in the city when um, we've had other investors in this community that have actually come forward and made their um, properties available to the state whereas it wouldn't cost the city uh, a dime in the sense and yet not lose those properties uh, in terms of them being taken out of the tax roll in this community so with all due respect, and I understand that we need to move and move on, the, on, on some of these items and stuff, but I think I, I would ask and, and request for some time for us to really kind of look into this issue before we decide to vote on this time. Mr. President, point of information, I think I might be able to Council answer. Council is chair of the Real Estate Committee, you may. Thank you very much. So um, we had uh, the mayor and um, come before us on Friday, the Real Estate Committee, and discuss this building. The city's um, building commissioner was there, um, as was the city's treasurer collector, um, neither of whom will go in the building anymore. It's very deteriorated. And if what the project that was explained to us is more or less the only thing that's going to be saved in the structure is the facade, and that the rest of the building has to be totally gutted and and reworked in order to save the facade and keep that nice downtown Brockton feel. So if we don't move forward with this project now, no, that building, first off, prob most likely will not be purchased by anyone. It will be a teardown. That was told to the Real Estate Committee. So it will be the city's responsibility to literally tear down something that otherwise we can save. And second, um, the potential use of that building, uh, though it won't bring in tax dollars, will bring so many more people to the downtown with uh, expendable income, and it will bring a real service to the downtown of Brockton and a lot of community development. So I, that's why the city uh, real estate committee voted to support this project when it was at committee, and that's really just my report. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Through. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Council still has the floor. That was one information. No, Mr. President, the reason why I bring this up is because some of us have been involved with some of these colleges around the area, both UMass Boston, Bridgewater, and Massasoit, in terms of turning the downtown area into a mini campus. A lot of us believe that that building is way too small and does not allow for flexibility to move on beyond that single building. Two, there's individuals in this community that have actually made their properties available to this consortium to basically be able to expand that beyond just the one building. I honestly, I understand that the building has, has deteriorated to a point, but I think, uh, and I also know that there's individuals interested in purchasing that building. So I don't understand what's, what's the rush into selling a building that will now go from uh, a possible tax base from our tax dollars to help the tax dollars in this community given basically to the state for absolutely any for, for absolutely nothing when there's po a possibility of uh, redoing this project and actually kind of involve a lot more uh, buildings in the downtown area and that's why I was asking to see if we can kind of just hold this off until we 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 have all the facts and all the uh, individuals involved come to us and explain exactly to us what's going on in the downtown area. President Sullivan, may I have one more point of information to directly address um, my fellow may, councilors' Counselor. concerns? Um, the state um, said that they needed authorization, not, not that the sale is going to happen, but they needed authorization from this body that we would empower the mayor to make that sale when the time comes, um, or the whole project might fall apart. So. 
we, I think that giving him authorization doesn't, doesn't hurt anything. And that's why the, the committee, one of the reasons, beyond all the community development reasons and the fact that they're going to be redoing a, a building that otherwise would be condemned and is dangerous for people even go inside, that's just one, that's just to answer your question, what the, what the rush was on the state side. Councilor Denapoli, followed by Council Bonds. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, through, through the chair, uh, the, this building is in my ward. It's been vacant for over nine years. It's, uh, it's had, there hasn't been any taxes paid on this building. It is condemned. There's, there's a very, very short window that we have to work with, and that's why Council Dubois had a very special meeting on a Friday evening. The, the governor wants to come to Brockton next week with a with grant money for the city of Brockton on a special announcement. And Michelle, Councilor Dubois did mention that it's, uh, it, we're not really selling the building today, but the, the mayor would like to have <coughs> the uh, council approval to move forward with this so we don't lose this grant money. And the grant money is very substantial. It's a lot of money. And uh, it, it will, it'll, it'll help revise downtown. And as I said before, the building's a mess. I know the former owners. No one ever wanted to purchase the building. It's a disgrace. And we have an opportunity to fix it. It's not going to cost the city any money. And any time we receive any money from the state, we say thank you very much, and we move on. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Council Bonds. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. My, my thing is this. Um, in some other areas, sometimes if you um, just take an action on a particular thing that doesn't disqualify you um, or cause you to lose out on an opportunity that's time sensitive. And I, I personally think we need to, um, I need to get some information or something to read. I don't know if everybody else got anything, but I never got anything from the real estate committee except they were having this meeting on Friday. Granted, I wasn't really available this weekend, but I never got anything else. So this is all brand spanking new. I'm not against the project, the proposed project that's gonna be there. I'm not against getting the money from the state. I'm not against working within the time frame, but some consideration has to be made. If you're asking for, if, if the real estate committee is asking for us to give the mayor a, a certain liberties, um, this has happened before, and we've also always had time to look into it, or at least to have something to look at. And I don't want uh, to disrespect you know, my brothers and sisters on the real estate committee, but um, I feel it would be irresponsible of me to, um, to say to go ahead and do this without any information, without really knowing for sure what's going there. I, I've heard the speculation what's, what's allegedly going there. I would hope so. But if we take this money, I don't know what the parameters are around the grant. I, I, I don't, I don't know. So, I mean, I'm in, like I said, if we can um, take action to uh, take an, uh, or to take an under advisement until the next um, FinCom meeting, I mean, if that's something that we can do or, or what, I, I just, I don't know. Something is weird. I, I need more time. Or, or can we, sorry, or can we maybe suspend right now if the real estate committee can come back with um, a report or something in the next 10 or 15 minutes or even 20 minutes? Just give me something to I read. I just gave you a report. No, well, you stood there, but I need something to read. No, I can't type anything up in 15 minutes. Well, it should have been done Friday after the meeting to be able to, to send it to us. If you're going to ask us to vote on it, I think you should have given us something. Everything else has come in paper form, and everything. It's on the agenda. Hmm? It's, it's not on the agenda. Um, this was introduced a couple months ago, so there has been plenty of time to ask questions. It isn't like I um, materialized this item and just sent it to real estate on my own. It's when, been an item, it an active forward? item for multiple months. When has it come forward? I'd never heard of this until right now. That's just me. I mean, <clears throat> did I miss something? Did I miss an email? Or? Mr. I'm President? Just can we, can we actually have an actual vote and see where this is going to go? Well, Council, we did get a uh, we did get a motion to act on the suspension of the rules. Uh, it was properly seconded to act on the suspension of the rules. On the motion, Mr. President. Can we just be more clear about what the deadline is and the ramifications of missing that deadline, please? Thank you. Through the chair, it has to be activated on this evening because it's going to be uh, activated on this week. It has to be documented that we took action on this tonight. If we don't take action on it tonight, we lose the grant. We don't, it's not grant money we're going to be losing. It's a potential for, uh, I, I'm not dis allowed to disclose how much it is, but it's thousands, it's, uh, tens of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. <coughs> Council, we're going to take a two minute recess on this.
Did it spin auction? No, no, it's put an RFP out for it. Emily filed too. Bruce Hammond. Counselors, let's just be clear about this. We, we have a motion on the floor for suspension of the rules that Councilor Denapoli brought forward. So we do have a motion that's on the floor. We have to take a lawful vote on that motion relative to suspension of the rules. That's clear. So we need to do that right now. So all in favor of suspending the rules relative to this agenda item that is a late file from Councilor Denapoli, please raise your hand if you suspend the rules and act on this tonight. All opposed to suspension of the rules, please raise your hand. So that's three. So it passes. So now the matter is coming back before us relative to acting on the matter that we're suspending the rules on tonight. We need to do that under Robert's rule by a roll call vote, Councilors. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the that's, roll. That's the motion now to act on this tonight. The motion was to act on this tonight because you said it's time sensitive, correct? That's correct, Mr. President. It's time sensitive. Motion was made by you. Who was the motion seconded by, for the record? Second. I'm happy to second. By who? <coughs> Jason Stewart. Just for the record. Motion was made and properly seconded. The motion is to act on this now in finality, and it will be by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Councilor Razak. Yes. Councilor Barnes. No. Councilor Cruz. Yes. Councilor Dinopoli. Yes. Councilor Dubois. Yes. Councilor Ineri. No. Councilor Monaghan. Yes. Councilor Rodriguez. No. Councilor Stewart. Yes. Councilor Studensky. Yes. Councilor Sullivan. Yes. 11 members present, 8 voting in the affirmative, 3 in the negative. Our motion carries, 8 to 3 vote. Motion carries. Mr. President, move Council. for reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. Second. A motion made, properly second, reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. 1, 2, 3. All opposed, please raise your hand. Motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Uh, Councilor uh, Ian Airy. Uh, Mr. President, in respect to you, uh, I'd like to motion a uh, late file if I could. Second. Motion made, properly second for a late file. All in favor of a late file, please raise your hand. All opposed, it's going to carry. Uh, it's a late file, councillors, and this late file is going to be, uh, it's going to be referred to the second finance in October. And just to refresh your memory, I'm going to read it in its entirety, and I think you'll remember during the budget hearings, I mentioned this at that time, and Councilor Dinapoli jumped on. City Council, September 22nd, 2014, resolved that the city's mayor, veteran service director, solicitor, building superintendent, and Dr. Robert Hagland, co-chair of the restoration project, come before the finance committee to discuss the previous war memorial building restoration efforts, including fundraisings, i.e. brick sales and a major gala fundraiser at the Shaw Center that happened on or around years 2007 through 2008. And that said, restoration project was to repair, refurbish, and restore the War Memorial building located at 156 <laughs> West Elm Street here in the city of Brockton. And that said, restoration project utilized both the War Memorial Fund and the Feinberg Foundation as conduits for sponsorship funding. And during said restoration project, memorial bricks were sold to the general public. Regular sized brick was $150 each, double sized brick, $350 each. And the Finance Committee would like to be updated and fully informed as to, one, how much monetary donations were raised by said restoration project. Two, how the restoration project money were spent. Three, what monetary balance remains from those fundraising efforts. And four, where that money is currently being held and by what entity and or institution. As said information was not known, it could not be provided to the City Council during the recent City Budget hearings in June of 2014. It's offered by myself in my capacity as Councilor at Large. That's going to be referred to the second finance in October. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed, that's going to carry. Councilor, is there anything else before us tonight? Mr. President? Councilor. Moment of personal privilege. Of course. Uh, I know that uh, you announced earlier that we're going to have a special meeting on Monday night over at the East uh, Middle School. I am going to have a w special ward meeting at the Plouffe School on October 1st. It's a Wednesday evening, and uh, we received uh, the, the grant, grant money from the state of six and a half million dollars to do special road construction and bridge work in Ward 5. And I have to have this special meeting to inform the residents of Ward 5 exactly where this road construction will be because there will be major detours when they start the work. Thank you, Mr. President. What time again is that, Councilor? It's uh, Wednesday evening, October the 1st, at the Plouffe School at 6.30. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor, Azak. 
A moment of personal privilege. Sure. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to announce two great events this coming weekend. Uh, the first one is our um, church uh, festival. It's our, at the uh, St. Teresa's Maronite Church. It's our Lebanese festival. It's, uh, it starts Friday, Saturday, and continues until Sunday. So come enjoy lots of good food, music, and um, plenty of entertainment. Bring the family. It's a family event. So I'd love to see you all there. And the um, other event that starts this weekend is the Downtown Fest, which um, lasts for about 10 days. Um, it starts, I believe, also on Friday. And um, come down to the Main Street area. And if you want any more questions, if you have any more questions, please contact Bill Hogan at Hoagie's Hobbies. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Dubois. Um, I would just like to announce that I am having a ward meeting this Wednesday for residents of Ward 6 at the Brookfield School, and that meeting will start at 6.30 this Wednesday evening at 6.30. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor, uh, anybody else? Councillor, you President, hear me. Moment of personal privilege. Absolutely. Thank you. I announced it last week, but just a reminder for the residents of Ward 3 and for the general public, next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday, September 30th, I'll be holding a ward meeting at the John F. Kennedy School from 7 to 9 p.m. Several guest speakers will be there. I know Mayor Carpenter is uh, one of them, so I invite all of you and all my large uh, uh, councillors as well. That's next Tuesday, September 30th at the Kennedy School. Thank you. Council Bonds. Uh, yes, if I may, I'm just actually putting all these things in my calendar, and I saw one. Uh, there's a free health discussion at the Brockton Council on Aging, also Wednesday the 24th. I believe it starts at, at 6 o'clock for all interested parties. Um, uh, contact the uh, Janice Fitzgerald at the Council on Aging. Thank you, Council. Council, a couple of congratulations. We had a couple of different uh, great uh, uh, events here in the city of Brockton this past week, and of course we had the Greek Festival, as always, uh, just a wonderful, wonderful event. Uh, we also on Friday night had the 120th uh, anniversary gala of the Brockton uh, a Day Nursery. Uh, Councilor Bonds had the kids dancing and singing. It was a really good time. It really was. And of course, we also had uh, the DW uh, Field Triathlon, and our own Councilor Shana Bonds is in the Enterprise tonight, huffing and puffing as she did 14 miles on a bike. So we owe her a big. <laughs> Councilors, just again, uh, for next Monday night, uh, again, this will be the second joint meeting we've had. And I've spoke to Mr. Menicello from the school, and, and I know the mayor is aware of it as well. Because I wanted to do it quarterly, and we can't, uh, I'm going uh, to push that we do one September, October, and November. We won't do it in December. And again, the way we're going to do it this, this time around is really it's for the people that we serve, the constituents that are going to be there. Uh, council is going to give a three-minute update through me as the president. Uh, the school committee, a three-minute update, no more than three minutes, through the chair, vice chair, Mr. Menicello, the mayor, in his capacity, three-minute update. And then Mr. Lindy or Mr. McAllister, I believe Mr. Lindy. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. No more than twelve minutes, and then we open it up because that's what it's all about. Anything else? Mr. President. Councilor. Might I have a moment of personal privilege? Absolutely, please? sir. I'd like to make an announcement. Uh, it hasn't been in the paper yet. We, we in Brockton lost a son of Brockton, passed away late last week. Mr. Charles Moore, he was a private investigator. Uh, he was a Brockton born boy. Uh, highly decorated Vietnam veteran, badly wounded, yet he made it through 68 years of life, and he's gone to his resting place, and uh, he, uh, he deserves to be resting. And with that, I'd ask for a moment of silence. Thank you, Must. May that Green Beret rest in peace. Anything else before us tonight, Councilor? Just, just Councilor, one thing, again. if you don't mind. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. You, just to shout out the rest of my team for the triathlon, it's Officer Nancy Lieberg of the Brockton Police um, and uh, educator, local educator, Steph June. Uh, we did all three of it. So team crash, splash, and dash, we completed it. So I want to thank my teammates. And um, <laughs> we were Brockton all the way. We did, oh, yeah, crash, splash, and dash. But <laughs> we did very well. We, nobody crashed. So. Thank you. <laughs> you were splash. Anything else before I was us? crashed. Seeing <laughs> this meeting, say by a jury.